It all started in a small town, upstate New York, not with an instrument in my hand, not with a microphone, but standing at the edge of Lake Ontario, skipping rocks and dreaming up what my future might look like. And then, when I wasn't doing that, my older sister managed a movie theater at the time, and she would let me up on the stage and turn the lights on before anybody else was in the theater. The Oswego Theater. It was designed in 1940 in the Art Deco style. It opened in 1941. It was a classic room with a plush red curtain, a stage, red, white, and blue stage lights. I played and sang many concerts in my head for that empty theater. It was all preparation. I was just a kid dreaming it all up and I loved everything about that place. The projection room, the red velvet ropes, the two movie screens, there was one upstairs, one downstairs, and of course, the smell of popcorn. The cars, men at work, Duran Duran, Styx, all the big radio bands in the early 80s were what I was into, K-Tel's greatest hits. Uh, Then came the movie, The Wall by Pink Floyd, Everything changed for me. Everything. I didn't know how deep rock and roll could get until I heard that album, saw that movie. A few years later, 1984, Prince came out with Purple Rain. I sat in a dark movie theater and I knew exactly what I wanted to do with my life. But something had to change. I mean, I was just a kid in a small town going nowhere. I needed to shed that conservative non-style for something that felt like me or the me I could be. A few weeks later I found a knockoff pair of those same glasses Prince wore in that movie. The moment I put them on I knew I was on my way. <laughs> 